Welcome to Beholder to One Shot, our very first video episode ever will be on YouTube and also on the podcast. Uh, this is a 5th edition D&D game, but we will be playing The Orphans of Vinesnake Hill by Braith uh, Shattered Realms. So you should definitely check that out. The description in YouTube and in the podcast will have the links you need to know. So go check that out. We're gonna we're just gonna go through a little scene here with three of our little players. Um, but first, let's go through all these familiar faces. Who, uh, one, two of them play with me on Shadowrun. So yes. So first, we'll go with Taylor. Who are you playing? Who are you? Who are you playing? And what is your class and race? Yeah, uh, I am Taylor at underscore potato everywhere. Another underscore, underscores, underscores on both sides. Uh, and I am playing a little light foot halfling ranger named Juniper. And Brianna. I am Brianna Jean at Brianna Jeans on Twitter. I am playing a half orc paladin named Drina. And finally, last but not least, uh, Darby. Hello, my name is Darby, and I am playing. Oh, uh, uh, a cute little owl lady named Ida. If you watch Disney Plus, uh, someone will get that reference. Fantastic. Um, so the three of you, um, we'll say you all know each other, right? You, you all, you're all been walking along this path towards a town that you were invited to one reason or another, and you can decide why. But after a long and exhausting journey, you see an idyllic site, idyllic site before you. A small village surrounded by forests and hills. On one of the hills you discover a vineyard. In the other direction, further along the road, lies a beautiful lake. Smoke rises from some chimneys, and at first glance, nothing can be seen of any inhabitants of the city. This is Vine Snake Hill, a, hill, a village that you were all invited to by someone to ask for your assistance. Georgia's very excited to be there so she can put the other two down. She's probably been carrying them for the last hour at least. Oh yeah, get a little stretch. I'll go ahead and walk a little bit. It, look, I know we let adventure in and such, but I could retire here. It's very pretty. Just saying. You look at the beautiful artwork on the screen that is actually part of the village. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, AKA roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rather idyllic place, I agree. I realize <sighs> none of y'all have tokens, but we'll deal with that. <laughs> hey. All right, so as you are walking up to this place, the do you all want to go straight to your sources or do you want to just look around for a little bit? What would you like to do? I think business first, pleasure later. Okay. Certainly. As you I'll are- I'll be with that one. God damn it. There's <laughs> money. Let's go. Pun counter, I'm not doing it, but somebody can have a pun counter somewhere. Yeah, I'm just winging these, you know? They're not planned. So as you're walking through towards the village, the building in front of you, the first one that you see, looks well kept. Vegetables grow in a small garden and children's toys lie in front of the entrance. The street leads past the two story home. An elderly lady with a bandaged head looks out of the window for a moment and then disappears from your field of vision. Like mysterious, like she like oh shit, like hides, like trying to not be seen by us or us seeing her snooping. <laughs> um, you can make an insight check. Oh boy, can I? Oh wait, I have real dice because I never get to roll real dice. Oh, that was <laughs> shitty. Uh, that's eight. <laughs> I'm gonna give a little guidance. Yeah, no. Mm. I got a dirty twenty. <laughs> I got a dirty twenty on my insight. Okay. Um, she either didn't see you, or if she did, she, like, it was very sudden. So, if she did see you, it was to, um, hide. 
not very uh, neighborly around here. He oh. seems scared of something. It's also oddly quiet there down here. Hmm. Do we know why we were contacted? We were just told to come here. Not any more details. Were, the notes that you pr received, each of you, had differing information. But the gist of it is that there have been multiple people who've gone missing. Um, including some children from the orphanage. I'm gonna guess they're a little freaked out about people going... Miss Serino! Ooh, ooh. I would assume so. It seems like they've got children. Hopefully they still have their children. Um, I don't think there's going to be any fun to be had in this city until we figure this out. So maybe, maybe we just right hurry there. along. Yeah. Just the sooner to be find them, the better. Because I'm very interested in that vineyard over there, but I want the moods to be a little lighter. Are you stopping at the orphanage to see if she'll let you in, or do you want to just keep walking? We can come back. Hoo -hoo. We'll have to come back anyways. Hoo -hoo. I think get a, a whole story and then maybe come question folks. Okay. So. Go. Okay. Um, skipping first. So as you um, go into the town, um, you just see a couple of things. There's a stables that seems to have some horses being taken care of. There's a tower that has people bringing grain and water and simple equipment to. And there is a lumberjack farther out in the, uh, further out of the city into the woods. So this is traveling towards one, two, three, four, basically. You're just going down that road. Um, Ah. And scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There's the smith. There's the town hall, the drip water farm, the temple, the winery, the cemetery, and the tavern. Where were we told to meet people? Uh, probably, I would say the town hall would probably be your best bet. Yeah. Yeah. Head into the town hall. Okay. As Ooh. you enter the town hall, there is, um, there's a little old lady sitting there, and she just, like, looks up and goes, Oh, hello. How, how can I help you? Uh, we were just, uh, adventuring this way. We were told to come talk to a gentleman about some troubles you'll see that's been happening. Oh yes, there's been troubles going on for for quite some time now. We uh we have some some kids missing, some some people missing. I, I think one of them's just drunk and he ran off. But you know what? The, the other two possibly are missing. I I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, uh yeah. Hold on one second. And like she stands up and it, it looks like it takes so much effort. And you're like help a little tiny body. <laughs> and she like. She tries to ignore the help, but she appreciates it, and she pushes herself all the way up with her cane, and then goes wobble, hobbles over to a little bell, and just pulls this rope, and a very loud bell rings. Um, Jenna also offers her arm, since she is much taller, to help the old lady get around if she's having trouble. Wow. I'm just imagining she's like putting her hand on Juniper's head as such leverage. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jordan just is like, here. I'm shorter than her cane, so I'm zero help. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you um you do have a few people come over to the town or to the town hall and overall after asking questions and getting some clarifications, um you are told that the there are words there are a couple of people missing the three the adults that are missing are delias kegmaster kamar avenhall and tavarin asaris you don't necessarily need to remember those names but those are the names
Man. And then the three children just recently went missing. And they were um, Miko, Beldor, and Arizia, all under the age of six. So they are babies. They're just a baby. And are we talking recently as in within the past couple of days or last night? Well, obviously long enough that we were got a message about it. Yes, um, the, the, you received contact, um, a couple days ago, and then you got another mm -hmm. urgent letter, uh, a day before, that caught you on your way here. Have uh, okay. any other people gone missing since the last letter was sent? Who? Who? Oh, that's gonna kill me every freaking time. <laughs> it's, it's a real hoot. Um, the, there is a human who is sitting, um, or leaning up against the door, actually, not actually stepping inside. Um, they look really grumpy and he's just like, no. Okay, thank you. Woo, woo. What y'all even going to do here? We all Fine. tried to help. Perhaps an outside perspective will help with the situation. Hmm. No, not like what? it's going to hurt. Hoo, hoo. What exactly was your help that you did? <laughs> <laughs> Dread is just like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Just curious, so we don't double work. I tried cutting down some trees to get into that forest, because that's where they all went. And we are going to go get them, but no, they had to go get adventures. You know they went into the forest? Hoo, hoo. I thought they just went missing! Hoo, hoo. Where else are they going to go? There's the forest and there's the lake. Like, It's one of two options. Maybe they went swimming in the bottom of the lake. Who knows? Who? Who? They do, but that's why we're here to find them. Dread is just gonna reach down and put her hand on Edith's <laughs> head. <laughs> like, like reach up and just... <laughs> um, This is a halfling man, by the way, okay, not a human. Um, long brown beard. Mid forties looks very muscular, and he just grabs his ass and he grabs his axe and sits on the floor <laughs> and walks away. Well, he's the real butt of this joke. <laughs> can everybody roll me a perception check, please? <laughs> Hell yeah, I can. Roll initiative. Okay, <laughs> there we go. My dice are behaving more like my dice usually do. 16. That's a seven. <laughs> okay. Bloody do. 16 and 22, you will see these little rats um, that just yeah. scurry out of the room as soon as this man leaves. Um, but with the 22, these are not normal looking rats. They looked very disturbing, um, covered in like a vine and kind of dead looking. <laughs> That still looks like dinner, though. Uh, <laughs> can <laughs> eat a... I was about to say, I love how the owl was the one. That was like, <laughs> uh, dinner? Uh, I mean, I, I imagine, can eat a soup? Because she can fly, mm -hmm. funnily enough. Can she, like, fly after the rats? Sure. Woo, getting some dinner! Woo, woo. <laughs> Rat time! <laughs> Jorana uh, was too distracted trying to keep her um, two tiny ones from getting into trouble, and then one of them just runs off. She's like, what are you doing? So as soon as you grab one, um, I need you to make a con save. <laughs> Good thing you have such great con. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is not a... It was not, it was a, not a pro to take con. Or it's not a, it's, it's, hmm. I told you so. This is what happens when you run after random sketchy rats. 
What'd you get? Six? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you go to grab the rat like you normally would and you probably get a little too excited and and get a little bit and and then you realize the vile disgusting decay and you immediately yeah. spit it out and uh you are poisoned you're just like just gently patting you on the back probably a little harder than necessary what did you eat? <laughs> just, just keep spitting it out. Just until you get it all out. <laughs> I just turn to look at whoever's left at the town hall that looks like they can talk to me. That's not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> the like, old lady is mm -hmm. there and um, there is a uh, there's a blacksmith there. Uh, I'll just kind of like refer to both of them in the area and be like, would y'all please give me a little more helpful information? Um, when, when did they go missing? Did they all go missing once? Did they say they were going on a trip? Like how, how did this kind of get going? Were they all known to be in a certain area? So, um, the, the man will start to talk as I'm scrolling to the right page. When Edith stops hacking, Jenna will pick her up and put her on her shoulders and walk over. Just, I'm not leaving you loose. She'll eat something weird again. Um, the rat wasn't that good. It was It was old. It was really old. Where'd the other one go? Oh, no, rats. you're not eating more rats. Also, we're going to talk about that later. It was a weird rat. It wasn't normal. Hoo, hoo. Okay. I found the page. All right. So um, he goes, well, Yay. Gladys uh, Nevron, the oldest daughter of the Nevron family. I'm sure you heard of them. Um, they went for a walk one night and uh, just never came back. They they were super friendly and helpful. So I don't think they just left. Um, then uh, Barrick Redberry, uh, he was, he went missing about three days later. He was a halfling working in the vineyard. Tragic can't don't see any signs of attacks don't see any reason why he would leave he had a the vines are going doing strong um delias uh is, is the cellarman he uh he's responsible for the redberry win winter winery and uh i don't know he went missing like two days after barrack so it's just like it kept just kept happening <clears throat> We we thought we were keeping a good eye on things and making sure people weren't going missing, but then uh, Tavarin he just went on his own and never came back. He he just got fed up that we weren't going looking and risking our lives, and he went in the forest, which is why Mako over there is so pissed because we won't go in there anymore. It's he won't he didn't come back. Um, and perhaps then, something is luring them. I don't know, perhaps. Um, and then four days after that. Um, Kamir, or Kiramar, he, he went missing, um, he left drunk at, at the bar, never came, never got home, according to his missus. <laughs> and then yesterday, yesterday, the, the three little kids, they, they went missing. Uh, poor, the poor lady that works there, the, Varia, the, the teacher, she, she got hit real hard on the head and doesn't remember much. Oh. Maybe we should go speak to her. Woo! Where, 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 where's the schoolhouse again? Um, it's the orphanage right in, in front of the town. Yeah, all right. So we got some people walking outside of town going missing. People from the winery going missing. The people from the orphanage going missing. Yeah, it's just people all over town. That's, I don't think it's a specific type of person because none of them have anything in common other than the two who work together but all those places are close to the forest that they are there's something unnatural in the woods and i think there's unnatural creatures based on how much this one has been hacking if you are farming armor we're going to have problems <laughs> pointing to ida <laughs> yeah that don't look that didn't look appetizing um I've seen her eat worse. It must have been pretty bad. 
Well, I think maybe then orphanage is our best guess, seeing as there's someone there who got bumped on the head. Yeah, um, I can I can walk you there, introduce you. She she'll remember me, and then hopefully she'll answer some questions if she remembers anything at least. And um, he will happily walk you over to the orphanage. Um, as he knocks on the door, this um, this half elf opens the door. She has a bandage wrapped around her head, and she uh, just gives like a, a nod and then like winces a little. And she opens the door as she lets you all in. She's like, um, "How how can I help you?" And he's like, these folks are here to help find, uh, find the little ones. She just, like, gives a nod. I I'll help however I can. Well, uh, I think just anything you can tell us would be help plenty to start. Well, um, I don't remember much. I, I remember... Um, I was in the kitchen, and I didn't see anybody, but I heard a, a gnarly <clears throat> female, a feminine voice, and all, all they said was sorry before smacking me upside the head. And then I woke up with my head bandaged and the kids, and on a cushion, and, my, and the kids missing. Interesting. Can Dreda check to see, the, check the head bandage, like, is it? Well bandaged and well tended to. Make a medicine check. Can you to hop around and look, uh, look around, investigate? Make an investigation. Sure. Yeah. Drena can tell that there's a bandage and it's on a head. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you actually like, poke the wound. <laughs> it's like, ow! Don't touch that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'ma give myself a little guidance. Ring-a-ding-a-ding-a. -a -ding -a. Okay. Uh, perhaps whatever... There's some parts of us that doesn't seem... So you're saying you woke up with the bandages. Was it a town folk that did it, or...? I don't... Nobody was here. Um, I woke up and had to go get... Um, had to go get the... The priestess. And she, she double-checked the bandages and made sure they were okay, but... Nobody was in here with me. Interesting. Um, were those the only three wards? Hoo, hoo. Yeah, are there other children around here, or is it just those three? Um, just those three. I was at 17 on my investigat. Okay. Um, so you are currently inside of the entrance hall, so you see toys laying on the ground um, all over the place, a small little wardrobe that has, uh, stuffed animals stuck inside but falling out, and, um, <clears throat> you can see the dining room from, you can see the dining room from here, too. This is where the tokens it's are interesting that whatever took the children took the time and cared to attend the old wounds and felt sorry about it seems like they might be familiar uh, with you who maybe familiar with you maybe there's some larger operation happening if there's a gopher that's not feeling too good about what he's doing there might be a head honcho that's a it's... little bit more of a concern and it's not just some monster, mindless monster alerting children. There's or people into the woods. There's something bigger at play here. There's purpose. That's unsettling. Um, I think Jimper kind of uh, looks around for like whatever may be the closest like exit like at, she's gonna go outside and start looking around she you know she ranger she can start doing her survival shit <laughs> and start looking for tracks looking to see was a block broken are there drag marks from three kids does it look like three kids walk in a direction like 
purposefully like it is someone they knew you know like kind of with those thoughts in mind looking around at everything okay uh, make an investigation check uh, i think uh, use this one uh, while she's go on, go on. while she's doing that um well first jared is going to ask was there anything about the voice that you may have recognized? May have sounded familiar? I don't remember. My head hurts too bad. This, Can I right. insight check her? Sure. We're considered Ooh. forest, right? Like, yep. Or natural explorer? Cool, because that is my favorite terrain. That's good. That's 19. Investigation? Yep. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So outside, um, you see scratch marks more like animal-like than human, and broken branches indicating that someone or something had been hiding in one of the trees. Um, it's always on the same tree, but three different spots on the tree. They were probably somebody was observing for several nights before attacking. Okay. Ew. Thanks, I hate it. And you said it's like human, like kind of like scratch marks, like um, animal or, like or, or animal. Yeah. Okay. Not human. They're more animal like than human. More than. Okay. Odd. And uh. while she's investigating, Jenna will follow outside after asking that question. And she's. Because we're near the edge of the forest, she's going to use divine sense mm -hmm. to see if there's any evil nearby but she's stepping out this once she gets outside and closer to the woods okay um Ida inside you would see the same scratch marks even though you don't know that they're the same on the wardrobe and um when pointed out the Viria will say will say that uh, Beldor and Miko's toys are still here Beldor's favorite was this stuffed horse and Miko's was that wooden sword but Barizia's favorite toy was a doll. It's not here, so I don't know if, if they took it with them or what. Can I open the wardrobe? Mm -hmm. Nothing's inside other than clothes and stuffed toys. No sign of that doll in there? Nope. Is there anything missing from your wardrobe? Woo! Woo! Just the doll. My insight check, by the way, was a 14 on her when she said, I don't remember anything. Ooh, my head hurts. Ooh. She doesn't seem to be lying. Cool. She got hit really hard on the head and doesn't recall much of what happened. Do you have a rat problem? Ooh, ooh. Um, no, not here. I mean, there's some rats and some nasty looking rats in the city, but or in the village. Yeah, they taste really bad. Hoo, hoo. Has that been happening for a long time? Hoo, uh, hoo. A couple months? Maybe? I don't... I don't really leave much with the kids. So we had rats. Weird rats showing up and then people started going missing. There's scratch marks out here on a tree that are a little mysterious. There are scratch marks in in on this wardrobe too. Oh, oh. Um, um May wants to on the ground do I see any tracks? On the ground what? Like do I see any tracks or anything to and from that tree or now kinda having that as a pinpoint? Um, no. Once you go back inside, you can see that they're, um, you can see from the hallway, or from the front room, um, there's a dining room, but that's, you don't see any specific tracks other than that. Gotcha. What were you saying, Drina? Drina? Jenna's gonna say, I wondered if perhaps rats have been paying special attention to individuals before they go missing. Could we use this some kind of scouts? Did you notice the strange rats around here? They don't usually yeah. come this close to the... They, they pick at the vegetable garden sometimes, but... That's about it. 
Can I? Uh... I think whoever was scouting here was because we're the, the scratch marks are bigger than like a rat, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I'm like, I think whoever was scouting here is much bigger than a rat. But that is a good thought for in town being a little more inconspicuous. Am I still poisoned? No. No. Cool. Can I ritual cast detect poison in disease? Perhaps detect poison in disease. Does that work on a person? It's it's a. Uh, it just says if something is a. Uh, McNasty, I can sense it. Oh. That's not the exact wording. Uh, it's not to <laughs> cure myself. It's more I, the I pulled it the, up. the rats are poison. Uh, um, location rats. presence and location of poison, poisonous creatures and diseases within thirty feet of you. Um, you do sense some uh, diseased from the kitchen. I just go pad over to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. As you look in the kitchen, uh, the sense is coming from these footprints that are uh, stained onto the floor. From the assailant. Seems like she's attacked in the kitchen. Are these your footprints? Who? Oh, Who? Oh. Uh, no, no. I wear shoes usually. Um, I'm gonna go like super stuck looking at him, trying to like parse what it matches. Okay. Um, with your passive investigation, um, you can see a stone covered in dried blood, which is probably what actually knocked her out. Um, Ow. The stone changes colors when you're walking around looking at the footprints. And. Um, The footprints, otherwise than the feeling of disease, they look humanoid but thicker. Like they're a little mangled looking. Ugh. They still look <laughs> Where do human. They... Where do they go? Do they lead to the outside arena? Um, they lead back out of the house, but you lose them on the carpet. I can't sense any more diseasey. Uh, no, it, you don't sense it any further. Well, whoever left these footprints is really sick. Who? Who? They need a doctor. Who? Who? <sighs> the uh, uh, blacksmith who's still there. He goes. Is that a rock? Yeah. yeah. Do you? Are you much of a? Rock guy. A geologist. You know That's what they're called. Oh, you're just a blacksmith. You work with minerals. Maybe you know what's used more. It's color changing, and that's odd. Well, that's that's from Weird Hole in the Southwest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, Weird Hole. He says with a complete straight face. Nikki can't have a straight face right now. <laughs> Can any of us yeah. have a straight face? Because I ain't straight. <laughs> Bazinga! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drina, Drina just nods and says, I have not heard of this place. Do they normally have objects like this? Gesturing towards but not touching the rock. Uh, no, it's from a... There's a... Sorry. The, we call it Weird Hole, but it's a crater um, from, from the apocalypse. From the what? Oh. Well, dark, we we probably being from this world know what the apocalypse is, right? Right? Do we know what he's talking about? Probably. Probably. Nikki doesn't. Know I'm the very to that young. Question, so. <laughs> 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 We're just gonna nod like we know what they're talking about. Well, Drenna is going to nod mm -hmm. whether she knows yeah. or not. Yes. Of course. I feel like it's like none of us want to like admit that we don't know something really big that happened in history and look ignorance. We're like, yes. Mm -hmm. It course. would go against my god to admit that I don't know anything. That I don't know something. <laughs> um, I'm not from around here. Is my excuse? <laughs> you <laughs> can roll nature checks if you want. Oh, yes. you know I do. On the rock. 
Oh, uh, I just accidentally heated my dice onto the floor. Can this be considered? I mean, it's. Hey. No, I'm not gonna let it. They're my favorite thing. That's weird. Uh, man, yeah, ten. Gotcha. Eighteen. Okay. Well, actually. Thirteen. Okay. Um, with an eighteen, um, as you're studying the rock, you you don't necessarily, um, you you've seen something like this before across other towns. Maybe you've seen other craters that have happened um, throughout this timeline. Um, <clears throat> the rocks from the craters are rumored to have a healing property to them so if they if somebody were to be hit with it it's very porous and crumbles so if it's used in an open wound it would heal <laughs> they knocked her out of the best rock possible oh okay Okay. I think whoever so, this was has a guilty conscience. That or they maybe they be. don't want to do what they're commanded to do, so they're trying to find a way to cause the least harm possible. They may not have a choice in this. Well, yeah. they they got this rock from the hole, so the weird maybe one? we should go <laughs> we should go investigate the, the hole. Oh, oh. Or I could Heal your head, madam. Hoo, hoo. I mean, the 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 weird holes live real far away, but um, I wouldn't mind it. An extra. My my headache is my head is killing me. Hoo, hoo, come here. Hoo, hoo. The power of God. Frantically looks up God's name. <laughs> <laughs> the power of insert God's name here compels you. <laughs> <laughs> Which God is available today? I don't know, but uh, Ida would. Anyways, Hootie. I don't know. I'll. Can I? Can I? Hootie and the Blowfish is your. <laughs> <laughs> can I uh, uh, make a look at her um, wounds? Are you using magic or are you using medicine check? I would love to do a medicine check. Okay. Can I also attempt to do a medicine check? But you I, already... I think she might have to like pick hold up Ida. So you already can... have, so I will say you True. can give help. So okay. advantage. I would like to give myself guidance. Little guidance. Okay. 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 Dirty twenty. Um, get my little owl hands all over that. Okay, so as you uh, band rebandage the wound, you see that this bandage was done really well, and the the wound has healed pretty well. But like you just re bandage it, reclean it, and um, a little bit of whatever you put on it, like kind of eases some of that pain, and with that check it reveals that while uh there was some heavy bleeding because most wounds on the skull do cause that it doesn't look like this was meant to kill um she's still a little confused but uh she starts to like recover a little she's she just it's like wait i i can't pinpoint who the voice was but I, I think I heard, I think I heard of that same voice before. And it sounds familiar, but I can't, I can't think of who it is off the top of my head. Um, but <laughs> I heard them say, children will be better. The grown ones not good need the children. <laughs> That's not a good thing to hear. <laughs> um... I Question. really don't like this. Uh, the bandages, do they look like this is done by someone who, like, does bandaging, like, a lot? Or is this, like, something, like, an average person could have done? Uh, the bandages currently were done by the priestess, and they were done by someone who is 
fairly well known with bandages. Uh, I see. So someone redid her bandages in mm -hmm. the time that. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Hmm. Is this um, rock magic? Hmm? The rock was magic, yes. It's not anymore. So the natural healing, well, it has natural healing properties, which could be considered magical to an extent. Okay. Mm -hmm. What part of you kind of wants to, like, take it because it'd be useful. The other part of me is like, it's a bloody rock. That just feels weird. Oh, no, Edith's carrying this rock out with her. <laughs> like, she's like, this rock is very interesting. <laughs> it would be good for my uh, class demonstrations. Um, if you want to go upstairs, you might be able to get some more information. I don't... I don't really... Is it upstairs? <laughs> yeah, there's... It's upstairs. Th that's where the living room is and all the bedrooms. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll give a little a look around. Um, see if I notice anything. Okay. Make I'll a, also go investigate. Make general investigation checks for the upper floor. Beautiful. I'll I'll tap Juniper and give her a little bit of guidance. Because it's a cantrip. Well, yeah. Oh my gosh, my dice. <laughs> a little bit of guidance in my life. A little bit of do good for okay. My dice. Oh, oh, that's good. That's 15 naturally. Uh, investigation is what we're doing? Yep. So that's 14. What's guidance? D4. Uh, D4. There's two more. So 16? So, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to skim the whole upper floor for you. And say so you take your time between the three of you to look around. Mm -hmm. um, in the living room, which let's go to the second floor really quick. Wow, it's so... <laughs> oh. Oh, well. I did have um, I did have dynamic lighting on, but because we don't have tokens. Ah, 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 ah. Um, so when you first enter the top floor, you see a living room. The only thing interesting in here really is that there's a smashed bookshelf. Um, it looks like the books were torn apart, and so were the scrolls. You see a spot of uh, on the blood. Oops, I'm sorry, a spot on the ground of green ink, but no ink pot anywhere. And as you get closer, you realize that it's not ink. It smells and uh, it smells like blood. And then one of the books that you do find that was torn to shreds um, is put together and it's written by a wizard named Cheriza Arkun. And the title is Magic for Everyone, How to Become a Wizard. And it was torn apart but put back together? Uh, you can put it back together and like piece oh. it back together and figure out that that's what it is. But it was torn apart. Um, there's nothing really in the hallway or Vera's room. There's a bunch of books in her room that were not touched. Um, and in Miko's room, you see that there are several drawings. Um, with Miko being a knight with notes of things like I'm a knight and fight the evil elves or I protect my family with my magic sword. Um, in Builder's room you find a book of math on the book and this uh, she describes this as a young halfling is a little math genius and the book looks like it's intended for 12 year olds and these all are like five or six year olds and all the equations if calculated are done correctly. In Ariza's room, you see a small book hidden under her pillowcase. She can't write much, but the book contains drawings of children playing outside with the occasional scribbled word alongside the picture. Three pictures show a tree with a simple drawing of a ghost inside, labeled Tree Spirit. I don't fucking uh, like that. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't fucking like that at all. Keep that. Um... Perhaps some with very the talented little ones drew the attention of something. I think yes. they drew the attention they already had, maybe. Do can I go back to that blood pile that smelly stinky blood and, and do some detect poison and disease again? Uh, to... it, 
It is uh, poisoned. Poison. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not potent right now, but it it has like traces of poison. Someone's oh. really oh. ill. <laughs> the torn apart stuff. Same like claw kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we can't tell what they might have been about before they were destroyed, aside from the one. Uh, no, just the one book. Did, I, I mean, can we see in this, like, mess, does it look like just torn apart for the sake of being torn apart, or, like, happened in the struggle of trying to catch three kids? Like, fighting kind of, like, struggles? Um, no, this book could not have been torn apart like this by a child. It looked like but it was like like the whole rage. Okay, so like this bookshelves, all this looks like angry, not like wild running around, knocking things, chasing kids, accidental damage. Correct. Okay. This sounds like someone broke in and then got mad for some reason. Woo hoo. What if they were looking for something the children didn't have? Well, they, they said the, the adults weren't good and the children were better and needed. That That seems like they were watching them, looking for some sort of time to grab them. But then why but tear up why books? Anger? Yeah. Why tear up this book in particular? Hoo hoo. And the only thing that was taken was the children's toy, the doll. Was there anything special about the doll? Um, Marissa was just really close to it. She wouldn't go anywhere and, and, without it. I don't know about what else. Was she the yeah. one that's a good artist? Yes. Was she also interested in magic by any chance? Not that I'm aware of. She never told me about that. Hmm. She does have what a wild imagination, though. Um, it's just... It's just a little stuffed doll with, like, blonde hair. She mm -hmm. had it from before she came here. Mm. Where did she come from? Do you know? Um, I don't. I just get brought children who need help. I don't ask questions. I get told what I need to get told. Did any of these kids come to you under weird circumstances? A very hush-hush? Or anything like that? I believe they were all just people who lost their parents in the city. Gotcha. Well, do y'all think maybe we should either go look around... The winery, what winery? We know at least two people went missing from there. Maybe we can find more clues, or go check out this weird hole. I'm very concerned about the the drawings that that young child made. <laughs> Is that does that Do you? tree look like one that's nearby? Oh, the, the, I'm pretty sure that's the tree that I, I found the scratch marks on outside. Something was sitting there watching us. She saw it and she's drawing it, thinking it's a ghost. No! That's yeah, because cool. it looked like whatever was in that tree had been there for a few days. And so, kid thinking it's a ghost or her imagination, not saying anything, but drawing it. That'd be interesting to go to if there's a tavern, see if there's any other stories, strange happenings in this town's history. Mm -hmm. There might be something that ties into what's going on here. Okay. Cool. That sounds good. And that's uh, that's where the one of the people went missing anyways. Woohoo! The last well, place yeah. he was gone. He left seen. the tavern on his way home. He went missing, yes. Yeah. yeah. But that was the last place he was seen. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh. Good place to kind of like pick up gossip and get a bit of a lay of the land before we go on to the next place. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Alright. Um, you get to the Lakeside Inn Tavern. Um, a halfling behind the counter named Vernon Brindlepony uh, greets you. Oh, 
welcome. Welcome to the tavern. How can I help y'all? Are you gonna stay here to stay or are you here to help? Or both? Both. Mm. Yes, oh. both. Stay for a little bit, but um, well, we, we have five rooms. We're to help so. with the missings. Oh, fantastic. Missing that That's great. That's wonderful. Uh, Kramar Avenhall, um, yeah, he, he was our cook, so a little... Food's not as good as it usually is, um, unfortunately, but... Uh, I bet the drinks are still just as great, though. The drinks are just as great and just as strong. Um, so he will... Uh, does that mean everyone was around? Ah, yes, please. I'm good. Hoo-hoo. Would you... Well, we'll have something perhaps on the lighter then. Okay. Um, you all get a drink. Um, Ida, you will get offered water, if you would like. And, um, yeah, he goes to help some other customers. There's not many, maybe like three or four, but still other people. So is we just anyone start. talking about what's going on? Yeah. Um, if they are, it's really quiet. There's, there's, like they probably already had the conversations. There. How how many people are in here? Oh. It's like a rather small establishment, right? Yeah, four other than you. We uh, excuse me. Does anyone have any information that would be helpful? We're looking for missing folks. You know, any any weird happenings, any sightings, any any weird stones. Strange trees, yeah. things She's lurking like in trees. Her glass, trying to get everyone's attention. <laughs> um, one of the drunks uh, who is at the bar is just like the only thing weird in this town is Mark is Mako. Mako, the grumpy, boys. grumpy halfling man. Yeah, he keeps trying to tell me to sell buy his booze is quote cheaper. I'm not trusting no booze made by a lumberjack. Oh, you should. So That's some of the best. Nice good moonshine. Anyway. <laughs> is this a new endeavor of his? I don't know. He doesn't talk to anybody. He's just suddenly wanting everybody to drink his suddenly got into a brewery, I guess. What what's what's his name again? I'm sorry. Uh Mako. Mako. That's right. He is um Pardon my French, but quite the asshole he seems. Yep. Brennan's like, now, now, everybody's. Tr Mako's just misunderstood, I'm sure. He's just upset, just as all the rest of us are. I'm sure that's what it is. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Sure, maybe he's rough around the edges and, and gets in a bunch of fights and trying to steal my money from my company. But you know, other than that, he's, he's a good guy, maybe. <laughs> Have you been having any, uh, rat problems lately? Hoo-hoo! I'd love to start doing some detect poison work here. Now that you mention it, yeah, I have. Why? Cause, uh, those rats are pretty gross. They're not good protein, and, uh, it's kind of concerning that they're running around here, you know? An unsuspecting, uh, individual might try to get some dinner or a snack and 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 fall very ill <laughs> well i don't know many people who eat rats but um but that's good to know good to know they have been here i've been trying to kill them that could <sighs> i see where they are <laughs> um they they're not here right the second but they're in the wine cellar i can take you down there though that would be Cool. As gotta have the level one party fighting rats in the wine cellar. <laughs> the classic yeah. RuneScape uh, first first encounter. Yeah. Yes. Um, this is actually an encounter I'm making up on the spot. Um, oh, well, <laughs> one. It's not part uh, of the book. But that's the fun part. If you go get this book, you won't know what part I made up and what part I didn't. True. Unless True facts. You. you could just be telling us that you're making this up in perfect story perfectly. I'm not drinking the wine, am I? Uh, I don't know. What would you want to drink? Uh, he just handed me something. I'm gonna say not wine. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey. <Yeah. Yeah>. Whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey it is. Um, not wine, no. but not something that's gonna knock you on your butt. 
I'm getting some of this and I'm going to love it. You guys go down into the um, cellar where the wine is, and you do see a hole after searching around in the corner that looks like it was chewed through by rats. Can I stick my head down there and look in the hole? Sure. Make a perception check. Fourteen. Okay. Um, you see the glowing eyes of a rat looking back at you, and the smell of decay. It's diseased, isn't it? It is. Ew! I stick my. <laughs> You're just gonna grab it and pull it out? Yeah. Make a uh. Next dare. Make an acrobatics check. Acrobatics? Yeah, you're trying to grapple it, basically. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh. Do fucking math, please. 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It got. Less than 12? Hold on. Less than 12? No, I rolled a 13. Fuck! I was looking for its bonus. Just Plus zero. reaching back there. Get out here! Woohoo! I'm not going to eat you, I promise! Woohoo! I don't think you're going to get it. it let's ah. let's ah. scurry back in through the hole. Out of the way. Can I. still see? How far back in the hole did it go? You can sense it going upwards slightly. And this house was on a hill, so like the um, cellar is... Hold on. Let me see how I word this. I'm basing it off of a house so in reality. Like hill the front part is on the top of the hill and then the cellar kind of gets buried into the hill. So there's like a escape on the bottom. It's going up or it's going down? sorry, it's going down. It's going down somewhere. Ho ho Probably to the whatever the rest of its rat friends are. Where is um this Mako's moonshine business operating out of like where where does he hang out um he's on the first street i'm all the way at the end have you heard any interesting rumors or stories about these disappearances or the strange things like this happened before never happened before no i don't really I don't really have anything to base it off of. Has there been any interesting talk or did anything you happen to know about what, about the disappearances and any possible connections between the people? No connections. Everybody's different. Everybody's different ages. Different families, different lifestyles, different jobs. Are they all exceptional in some way? Woohoo! No, if anything, they were just, other than the children, they were just opportunistic. Opportunistic? Well, I mean, the one was walking in the forest. Mm, ah, I see. You the mean. the other one went uh, was drunk, walking home. Another one was working by themselves on the winery. And the, th the fourth one went looking for someone so they were just opportunities I think best easiest to get I don't think yeah. it was specific I want this person I think it could have been any of us if we were just close enough I think I want to dress a moonshine y'all I concur it'd also be interesting to see if anyone knows about 
Any local folklore or stories involving things in the woods? Do you have to have any druids in this town? We don't, um... We had a... We had a wizard, but that... That was a long time ago. How long ago? Woohoo! Um... Couple... Couple, uh... Couple decades? A decade, maybe? I lose track. Woohoo! Okay! Good to know. What was this wizard's name? By do you remember? Woohoo! Oh, um, yeah, it's a uh, Teresa Arcoon. Does that name? Is that the same name, name on the book? That's the name on the book. Interesting. Book name. I'm not gonna remember. I'm not gonna remember how to spell that book. Book name. Cool. Hoo hoo. Do you know where this wizard used to hang out, perhaps? Hoo hoo. Um. Scrolling. 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 Hold on. Uh -huh. Hit on something. <laughs> I mean, they had a tower in the forest. Tower. Yeah, I was about to say, I've heard from my cousin of mine, lizards tend to prefer living in forests. In towers, because they... When they're working on things, it's less likely to cause trouble. Or for them to get in trouble until they've had a chance to move out of that tower. So y'all have two options right now. You can go get some moonshine from your from your lumberjack friend, who's a little grumpy. Or you can go visit the forest and see if you can find a wizard tower. Let's check out the Boonshine Man, and then we can check out the forest. See if we can get some more information from him. Yeah, Maybe he has were... the rat nest. Yeah, like, the rats and the disease were literally following him. And he's a lumberjack. He works in the forest, too. So maybe we could even get a better direction of where this wizard tower is. Yeah, and also the sudden making moonshine? Yeah, that's odd. And just, like, pushing to get more people to buy and drink it, that's... Maybe he knows more than he's letting on. Hoo-hoo. Perhaps he's trying to get busy. Listen, perhaps he's trying to work less in the forest. Well, his gruff, grumpy exterior is hiding his guilt. Or he's knows for sure they're in the forest he's trying to protect people? <laughs> Maybe he's not a villain. Yeah. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. Because um, remember the, the, the orphanage teacher said she recognized the voice. It was a female voice. And then the prints were humanoid, but larger. So That's maybe cool. also keep an eye out for just anything of that variety. Size 20 shoes, perhaps? Ooh, ooh. I wonder if the wizard is in some way still here. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Hoo, hoo. So you're going to... Booze Man. Booze Man, okay. I don't know what his name was before, yeah. but it's now Boozman. Mako. Mako it, it's Mako, and I'm only remembering that because Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> I spelled it just like that, too. I don't know if that's spelled, but I spelled it like Mako and Mass Effect. Like that, that car, though. You could drive that thing up anywhere. Okay. So... A little outside the village lies the beautiful lodge. Logs and woodworking tools lying outside suggest that this is the home of a carpenter or lumberjack. You see a halfling man with a long brown beard, the same one from the door. He's, um, he has his axe on him and he's splitting firewood. I hear you have the best booze in town, sir. He, um, glances up at you and has a face of like frustration almost and he's like how'd you hear about the booze 
I went looking for other booze and heard that this was the best booze. Bullshit. Uh, roll a deception check. <laughs> a little bit of guidance. A little bit of guidance. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Deception's a plus two, but that's a four. <laughs> so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got, I got a four on my guidance. <laughs> Well, he has a negative one to his wisdom, but he rolled 15. Blah. That's some bullshit. What are you really doing here? Yeah, honestly, they said your booze, they didn't trust it, but um, I do. We're here to get to see if we're gathering information. I'm wondering if you know anything about what's been going on in the woods. They're probably all dead. There's dangerous creatures out there. You don't go in the woods and come back alive. What but creatures? You have, yes. You have. Hoo hoo. Yeah, because I'm you careful. You to remember. Because I'm careful. Insight check. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed anything in the woods that give myself a little guidance could lead to what's going on? Eighteen insight. Nice. He rolled a 15. Um, he's hiding something, but it's not necessarily, like, he seems nervous, but he seems to be telling the truth about, um, thinking that, the or about the dangerous creatures in the wood and thinking that they're dead. But he doesn't seem to be, like, he doesn't seem to, like, know that they're dead, just assuming. So he's nervous about the creatures in the, yeah, also. Yeah, and he's, he's obviously nervous about something. Like, he, he's hiding something, but you're not sure quite what it is. Jordan's gonna keep asking, have you felt anything strange or seen anything strange that could point to whatever has been luring these people? Or have you seen signs of, say, a wizard's tower? <laughs> no, I don't know anything about a wizard's tower. Can I insight check that? Sure. <laughs> Guided? Ah, uh, that was actually pretty good. That's a 16. And, but, and then with guidance. If we're if we're on um Drenna That's shoulders, a 17. <laughs> I imagine that uh Ida's just holding everyone's hands a little bit, just like It's like you look like you're thinking oh. guidance. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> he does know about the tower. Mm. So, <laughs> if there's a chance that they're there, then if we could find them, we may be able to figure out what's going on. Might be able to save some people. Look, the tower... The tower is overrun. There's no way they'd be there. It's just covered in vines. And then, Could there be something around there? Um, you'll see one of those little rats uh, pop out, and he'll like shoo it away. Mm, it, like, do starts. those? All right, Juniper does not like this guy at all. She's still holding her whiskey. Shoots the last of it. She just she took a walk me out, walk me down with it. Walks up to him because you know halfling. She feels like she can be intimidating to another halfling because at least they got a, a size <laughs> equivalence. And in halfling is me like, I'm gonna need you to tell me exactly what is going on with these disgusting diseased rats. Also, are you being weird because something's watching you or because you know exactly what's happening? Roll a intimidation. <laughs> Smack that. <laughs> Smack that guidance back. D4. <laughs> That's a 19. Ooh, ooh, and that that's a 20, and yeah. then plus two, 22. Ayo! I was about to say, if you needed assistance, just <laughs> sit there and stood behind you and just happened to cross your arms. Yes. Yeah, she's got some liquid courage. She, she's just feeling a little warm from her whiskey, and she's like, I don't fucking like this guy. Okay. <laughs> Beefy half work with an owl on her head. He rolled a five. <laughs> oh, also, my other language is orc, just for a heads up, whatever, if that ever comes into play. <laughs> I learned um, for you. He's Yay. like, he Aww. just kind of crumbles a little. 
okay, fine. Look, I have nothing to do with missing people. Okay. I don't know jack shit about that. I don't know why they're going in the forest. I don't know who's there. All I know is whatever's doing it lives in the forest and there's a lot of things in the forest that are dangerous. As for the rats, they're my buddies because I found them in the forest. But that's unrelated to the people missing. They We're are the diseased. Hoo-hoo. Can I inside check that statement? Yeah. Yeah. I also like to inside check that shit. That's 14. Weirdest I, feel I feel like he's telling me the truth because I scared him so bad. I'm like, <laughs> Well, there's him knowing two things aren't connected and him firmly assuming that they aren't. Mm -hmm. So like does he know or does he just think he knows? 20. 20. 30. Not natural. Okay. I got a 14, so. Um, he seems to be telling the truth. Why would you adopt diseased rats? They're eating their way through the town! Hoo-hoo! They're in the tavern! Hoo-hoo! Because... You wouldn't believe me. You just gonna look at me like everybody else does in this damn town. We've seen a lot of weird things. I thought we would. Oh! Hoo-hoo! She's out. Yeah, Dread is just like, I mean, look, half worth paladin, owl. I'm just along for the rat. Okay. Look, I don't think you should go out in the woods personally, but related to the booze and the, and the, the rats, I found out that I can use the rats to kind of create some kind of hive mind and make people listen to me for once. So I was, I was just trying to get them to drink the booze so they shut the fuck up and listen. They don't listen ever. There might be better ways to convince people to listen to your side of the story than drugging them with rat juice. Look, Not judging, I'm very confused. I'm alarmed! Hoo hoo! So you got nasty rats and the nasty rat stuff in your hooch and then you're trying to get the town to drink it so they'll listen to you because you can then have mind the, That seems very bad. The rats told me to do it. Why are you listening to rats? Woo! Because they make a really good fucking point. They'll listen to me. Right now, right now. No. Like, Did you say there were vines on the rats? Yeah. Yeah. And now there's vines on the tower. The same disease is in the rats. The same disease that we found at the house. I think we got our point. And someone's pissed off about the. Someone are the rats pissed off about the wizard? Not the rats, but whoever controls the rats. Things. I feel like there's something with the wizard of someone not liking the wizard, and that's why maybe he raged out. It's or maybe, oh, oh ma okay, okay. Hey, you don't know what's going on, sir, but I'm, I'm about to lay down my <laughs> accusations, my thoughts here. So, I think it's the candlestick whoever, in the dining hall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, we've got, we got the diseased rats with the vines, and the vines on the thing, and then the same disease at the place where the kids disappear. There's someone that was watching, kind of monstrous, a little weird. Then um, they were sorry about doing what they had to do, apologizing to the teacher, you know, fixing wounds and whatnot. And then raging out in the library with the books and the wizard because they're mad at their boss who's making them do this. So maybe the boss is the wizard and they're pissed about it. Perhaps whoever's behind this is trying to trick you into helping them mentally enslave the whole town. Exactly. Question uh, for you, sir. Who, who, did those people who went missing try your hooch before they went missing? No, I haven't gotten anybody to drink it. Good. That's That's good. Could you stop? Gross. It's disgusting. Okay. Just until we clear your rat's names at least. Which I don't think. Get a better understanding of what's going on before 
Just in case there's something untoward going on with what the lads have told you. Roll a persuasion check. I'm good at charisma, but my dice hate me. <laughs> That's a seven. Yeah, stop. I don't trust that. I'm not even gonna inside check. She. She's like, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> she, she's not gonna say anything. But how how are the rats able to communicate with you? I'm curious. I got bit by one, and now I can understand it. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> you are you are very concerning, sir. Woo, woo. In since I kind of have the drain in those druidic, so she's probably been around druids. Can I like? nature or intelligence check to see if I can figure out what that might be or that might be more of an arcana effect um I don't know. they are undead so no yeah. nature will not tell you anything fair I don't like you sir I don't like anybody in the like town so Understandable, as you're trying to. Now I'm thinking intentionally enslave them in some sort of evil plan that you are unintentionally, not even unintentionally. You are a part of because of your sheer ignorance. Enslave um, them? No, I just want them to be stupid, so they can listen. That's all I want. <laughs> you're you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm, do you really want to have to deal with an entire ton of stupid people and being responsible for them? Trust me, it's not fun. That was my last job. I quit. <laughs> Try just like people instead. Hoo, hoo. Just by like stroke of luck. Um, standing here looking around. Uh, do we see fucking a whiskey barrel full of hooch somewhere? Or like, can, can I see like where maybe this booze is being made? Um, you do not see it here. Uh, you do see a staircase. Ah, uh, an orc. <laughs> because I can speak orcish. Would you mind holding him real tight? Certainly, she replies in Orkish, and I'm <laughs> going to just. You have to, like. Tr Actually, no, I'm not even casual. I'm, I'm assuming we're kind of standing, like, close ish, not like right next to each other, but within a couple feet. So I'm just gonna go over and try and grapple him. <laughs> Gently. Not trying to, like, cause harm, just trying to, like, Guidance? bear hug. Please. Sitting on the top of the head, just like guidance. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Um, <laughs> carefully grapple him. Oh. Okay. Uh, roll an athletic. Because I was asked check. to hold him still. That dice is fired. <laughs> was that a one? I rolled a five, but athletics plus three is seven with guidance. Um, that's a force. That's an 11? You got a 17 to dodge out of the way and run. Okay, well, if he's leaving, we might as well just go look at his, Where's like, he running to? Weird out of the, out of the cabin. To the woods? Just out of the cabin. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for this booze and I'm gonna poke a hole in the container. I don't want, in the short time we're gone, he managed to trick someone into drinking it and then we come back to a weird oh. mind situation. I could follow him. We may him. also want to leave the town soon afterwards just in case he convinces uh, them that we're the problem because I did just try and grab him. Very true. But also apparently no one listens to him. Or likes him. Yeah. But also we're the outsiders. Okay. So I'll you... just follow him. Why don't you? I'll circle back. I'll just do that. I'll fly after just above him. Okay. Just... If you run into any trouble, come stay back. Okay. Yeah, Are you going, going this... upstairs or downstairs? Oh, oh. Uh, downstairs seems logical. Okay. That's that's her thought. 
basement hooch operation with some gross rats, you know? As you go downstairs, a repulsive smell hits you. The stench is sweet and foul at the same time. You have to pull yourself together not to turn around right away. Downstairs, you see two tables with different ingredients on them, including a piece of rotting meat. But the foul smell seems to emanate mainly from an open barrel at the end of the room. This is... this is not good. Um, um, can I'm I just sure like... What we need to see down here, but a really rough relief. Is the, what's the ground situation like? Like, is it like a dirt basement floor kind of thing, or like... That is a great question. It's easier than it should be. Um, my, my, my reason for asking is... I just kind of want to like shoot an arrow to poke a hole in that barrel so the the hooch just like dribbles out and if it's in the ground you know it just soaks it up so it can't like lap it up again um it is stone okay that probably wouldn't work as well unless he's going a real long time um i have a terrible idea we could just um just throw a torch, but I don't know if we want to burn it. Then we're really going to look like a bad guy. <laughs> That's why Jordan's not going to suggest that. He's an asshole, but I think this um, evil situation he's in may not be his doing. He's um, being used, I'm pretty sure. He's got problems that he needs better ways of dealing with, but he's not evil. I agree. Uh, yeah. Also, can um, we go back upstairs? It smells. I would just like plug my nose and run down really quick and just knock over the barrel and then run back up the stairs. I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> gross. Okay, let's leave. I don't like this place. Um, you go back upstairs. Uh, do you go to the second floor or just stay again on the first floor? Uh, uh, Let's plug we... around. There might be something else interesting that doesn't smell like mushroom. Oh. Mushroom, mushroom, yeah. Real quick lap. Real quick lap. Also, it might be a bit before he that comes back. Yeah. All right. Um, you go upstairs, and um, you see a the creaky wooden plank on the floor right after the staircase as you enter um it's empty there is a bowl of uh what looks like there was like cheese and grain inside of it on the floor and there's a few bottles of red berry wine under a little kitchen area make an investigation check Lovely. That's a seven. Thirteen. Okay, with a thirteen. Um, you do find a book on the desk. What's this? Um, as you start to scroll through it, at first it's an accounting book. It shows list of goods, bought, and sold, orders received, so on. Um, but the last 20 or so pages turn into a journal. He begins writing about how he was bitten by a strange rat and had a fever for a few days. This happened a few weeks before the first attack, according to the date. After recovering from the fever, he continued with his list, but suddenly wrote mean comments alongside the business details including Rhaegar wants a table that pig should eat from the feeding trough or the Fairwinds want their stables repaired I wonder how they'd react if I burned it all down the first entries are sh also show notes saying that he barely has to sleep anymore which allows him to do his real work unnoticed by the other villagers something is controlling him I'm assuming you're sharing this information yeah yeah I'm reading it out loud like very performative um yeah, this does not seem to be by his choice. Um, Something is feeding on problems that might have already been there, grumbles, and just yeah. increasing them and increasing them, and then yeah, he probably doesn't even realize he's being used. That's my thought, too. Well, I'm glad we didn't bring the place down. <laughs> 
Me too. I, that, I didn't think that was a good idea. It was just a thought that I had. Ida, you follow him and he just, he runs to like behind a building or something to catch his breath. He doesn't seem to uh, be going anywhere particular. You will overhear him muttering and saying horrible things about you guys, like trying to like these, how dare they interrupt my work and da 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 and get, just getting very upset hearing the same type of mean threats that you wouldn't know but that were in like the journal. But he makes no open moves towards anything or anyone. So I guess we're just like standing outside, like just waiting, like what? <laughs> Where did Ida go? I'm sure she will be back. Swing back around. Okay. Indeed. Where did he run off to again? Just a, just a couple buildings down. Yeah, it's nearby building. He's just standing there muttering, oh, I'll just circle back around. As long as he's not, like, jamming hooch into someone's mouth, like... No, he didn't bring any of the... He doesn't cool. have anything on him. Yeah, as long as he's not just, like... Yeah, we'll swing back around, flip back down, go, like... He's just, uh... Grumpy. And... Oh, yeah. Stupid. Like to the journal of just, like, profanities. Mm, yeah, that's about what he's saying about us, so... Yeah. Also, it's disgusting just... scene in the basement where he's making stuff dead meat and not good. It, it's I dumped it. Disgusting. Good. good. A little got on my shoe, and I'm not. I'd rather. But I think we no. We need to go to the tower. That sounds about right. Yes, he's being played. Yes. By something, Fair and so. he doesn't realize it. And on that note, we're going to end this episode. Um, so let's go around the table and tell everybody where they can find you. And then we are going to take for YouTube, we're going to take a short break and then come back and continue with part two. Uh, so Taylor, where can everybody find you and what do you have going on in the near future? Yeah. Um, as, you can find May on, as of May 19th. Yes. Yeah, so you uh, can find me on uh, Twitter and stuff at underscore potato underscore. Um, also do everything with High Shelf Collective and that's where you can find me where we stream on Twitch and do all sorts of fun things. We got like a cyberpunk hack Mass Effect theme game that is beautiful. It's so fun, uh, which the rules will be coming out really soon as well as like how to videos on how to play it because we made a PDF, so. <laughs> um, then we also have Midway Madness, which is Hit Point Presses, Hecna, a D&D game that happens every other week. Uh, and those are the kind of things that I'm doing. Oh, and, oh, because by May 19, things are going to be happening again on Weave the Tail. Tomorrow. You'll see a lot of us. You'll see a lot of us. Tomorrow, uh, you, run. me, and Darby will be on Shadowrun. Yes. So we'll be there. And then on Tuesday nights, I will be running a D&D &D campaign using the new Alchemy RPG VTT kind of system, uh, running their campaign, The Lost Druid. And it's so beautiful and so cinematic and so great. And I think by the time this comes out, the first episode, first two, first episode will have happened. But if not, go watch it. It's going to be beautiful. And I'm first so excited. episode is on the 24th. The 24th, okay. I'll have had session zero, which y'all won't see, but it's beautiful, so go watch that as well. Um, and I think that's my life currently. All right, Brianna. So you can find me on Twitter at Brianna Jeans and my podcast stuff over at Pseudonym Social every other Monday. I've got Aboard the Opal Star, my Espergenus 5e actual play podcast following a group of three friends as they discover the universe the universe is far more complicated than they realized and actually no they are they overestimate how many people actually want to kill them but they're just a little paranoid just a little no idea why um, I mean it's not like the first three sessions I found out everything they know about the universe is a lie um, I've also every other Wednesday I have Tempest Multi which season one is a southern gothic reality twisting monster of the week We're start I'm starting to get 
uh, crew together for season two, which is going to be set in a parallel to Oak Ridge, where instead of monsters, there's magic because it's going to be Urban Shadows, and I'm so excited. I love Urban Shadows; it's so fun. Yeah. Basically, a strange man comes into town knowing everyone's vice and how to get it for you, and then people start disappearing. Okay, and then Darby. Hello, my name is Darby, otherwise known as Chaotic Darby on the internet. Uh, you can find me in a couple places, mostly on Twitter and Twitch, uh, as Chaotic Darby. Uh, I stream Wednesdays and Thursdays. Uh, and when I'm not on my own channel, you can find me Tuesdays every other week, every other Tuesday on Through Hollow Flames podcast, a D and D fifth edition podcast where I play a small nerd, but not covered in feathers. Uh, and then Friday, you can catch me on Shadowrun on Weed the Tail. We're all very excited. <laughs> I'm just so I excited. Tell. I mean, we. I want to play that game. It's man that that book makes me makes me mad, but the game makes me. Jazzy. I'm definitely not listening to my playlist uh, another 200 times before we kick off. <laughs> you don't have a problem at all. I don't have a problem. It's I don't fine. have a fixation You're over fine. this character. I'm fine. I have, I have, this is totally under control. Um, Hyper fixating on characters is perfectly normal. What are you talking about? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I think besides that, though, that is it for me. Okay. Well, I am Nikki, aka Beholder to No One. You can find me on Twitter at Beholder to No One. And you can find my podcast wherever podcasts can be found, where this will also be released in podcast format um, and edited and cleaned up a little bit more. So you should uh, check that out if you want to have music in a cleaner version than the live version. Um, I will be tonight, uh, the 19th, I will be on. Lost Caravan RPG at 7 p.m. playing Slayers. It's a part two of the game that we already played. So my sassy character who just likes to fight everything is gonna be back. Um, and then tomorrow, like we've mentioned, we will be there uh, with the tale at 2 p.m. for Shadowrun Spring of the Fireflies season two. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. will be episode three of the 2000 Tales um, Teens in Space mini campaign that we're playing between season two and three of our monster of the week weird web game and that will be on youtube at 2000 tales we switched from twitch to youtube um and then on saturday i just realized i have four streams in a row um on saturday i will be dming on leave the tale at 6 p.m eastern standard time for necrobiotic which is going to be a blast and necrobiotic for those who don't know is an amazing indie game made by mitch and a bunch of other amazing people and it is a game where humanity has declined in birth and increased in death and they just needed to find ways to survive so what happens when you mix corpses and machines you get necrobiotic basically and constructs everywhere in my story is uh what happens if somebody messes with that i'm not gonna tell you what happens because that would be a spoiler but if you want to watch episode one go listen on the 21st live and donations will help encourage everything and make the story just go so much better <laughs> so definitely go check that out um and that's it for me um I know I said earlier that we are going to take a break and then go to part two. I'm going to split this actually because it's already two hours and it doesn't make sense to make this a four hour long episode. My computer can't handle that. So keep an eye out for next month for part two of this show. Bye. Yeah. Bye.